Very good morning to everyone. I hope this new day finds you blessed and finds you well. I want to share a scripture verse this morning that uh, brings our attention back to why we were created and uh, brings it back to the point of the heart of worship. Um, There's a Christian artist called Matt Redman that wrote a song once, and the song is titled Heart of Worship, and he speaks in this song about what worship has become to us as human beings, and he says there that it has become a a selfish desire, a desire where when we speak to God and when we spend time with God, it's all about us. And uh, he takes that song and he brings it back to the true heart of what worship is supposed to be. So this morning, um, the Lord led me to a beautiful scripture concerning worship. And uh, if you want to follow in your word this morning, we're going to be reading out of First Chronicles, um, chapter 16. First Chronicles, chapter 16. If you want to follow this morning from verse 23. And while we are reading this, please hear with your, with your spirit um, what the heart of worship truly is. The Bible says here, Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim His salvation day after day. Declare His glory among the nations, His marvelous deeds among all people. For great is the Lord and most worthy to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, The Lord reigns. Let the sea resound and all that's in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord. For he comes to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Cry out, save us, God our Savior. Gather us and deliver us from the nations that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Here we can clearly see in the Holy Word of God that this whole prayer of heart of worship had absolutely nothing to do with me as as Jacques, me as a human. That the, the writer of this brings our attention back to the worship that is ultimately Um, must fall on God. The worship is for God because God is the one and only living God. He created heaven and earth. Um, He set everything in place. He he blessed us and gave us 
everything we needed to be able to um, live a, a blessed life in Him. I cannot, for whatever reason I want to, I cannot live a blessed life in myself. I can't. But I can live a blessed life in Jesus because we have been given everything we need in Jesus and through Jesus to be able to do the one thing that we were created to do and that is worship our Father. Everything that Jesus did when he was on earth as a human being, as a man in flesh, everything Jesus did was an act of worship to his Father in heaven. And he taught the disciples to do that and the disciples taught their disciples and it had a ripple effect. And today, all across the, the, the world, there, there are disciples that are still putting that um, recipe of worship into practice. That everything we do is about God. Everything we say is about our Father in heaven. Everything we want to or try to achieve in life is for our Father and for His kingdom. And there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that are battling with the, the reality and the fact that life is not about me. And Jesus said to the disciples that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. And a, a powerful discussion um, yesterday in the, the men's group came out that um, God has given us life here on earth for the one purpose, and that is to, to live for Him. It truly doesn't matter or count what I think life should be. Um, that is, that's worldly philosophy. But what does count and what does matter is what my Father in heaven sets out in, into motion and into action the very day that he created the heavens and the earth. And that was purely and simply for me and for you to worship him the way that the word just described. That everything on earth was created for him, was created through him. I possess nothing that I gathered by myself. It was all given to me by my father in heaven. And there's a lot of people on earth today that are battling with that idea because they so much want to, to be seen as themselves. They so much want to be heard as themselves. But in keeping with the theme that the Lord started with on uh, Sunday, um, true worship is submitting to my Father in heaven. Submitting to his will and his plan and his purpose. And his will and his plan and his purpose is that I display him and just him, nothing of myself. That I build his kingdom and just his kingdom, no other kingdom. That I proclaim his word and just his word, no other word. And that I pray to him and just him and no other God. I truly hope that um, this morning the, the scripture, not, not my human words, but the power of the truth of the scripture this morning um, touched your heart and moved your spirit uh, to know that the heart of worship is to bring it all back to God, to have everything point to God and to give all glory to God. Please let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that the Word teaches us clearly in this new morning that you have given us. 
that absolutely everything in heaven and on earth points directly to you, our Father in heaven. And that the only purpose that we were created was to worship you, Lord. My will simply does not matter. We thank you, Lord, that we come to a point in our relationship with you that you do love us so much. And if you can trust us with little, you will give us more. So your word does teach me that you do bless me with the desires of my heart. But the desires of my heart must still point to you, Father God. It must still all be about you, Lord. And this morning, Father, I bow down before you and I submit my, myself to you. I submit my life to you. I submit my family to you. And I submit my church to you, Father God. And I say that we are here to totally, totally submit to you, Father God. We are here totally to submit to your word. We are here, Father God, totally to submit to your son, Jesus Christ. And totally submit to your Holy Spirit. We don't want anything of this world. We don't want any teachings of this world. We don't want any guidance from this world. We don't want any um, acknowledgement even from this world. This morning, Lord, I am bowing down before you. And I submit completely, totally and utterly with everything inside of me to you, Father God. And I pray that your will will be done on earth exactly as it is in heaven, Lord Jesus. And I thank you for that, Father God. I pray that in the lives of us and those who are seeking you with everything inside of us, Lord. Lord, that the power of the Holy Spirit will rest on us. That we will be able to move in the gifts and the talents of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you for that. Blessed be the name of the Lord today and for every other day that we have on this earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Holy be the name of our Father in heaven. Glory, glory, glory be to him. And we pray, we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for your time this morning. Um, again, I hope that the truth of the word of God uh, blessed you this morning. Um, I pray that you will be led by the word of God, which is your, your lamp and your light unto your path. And I pray that this morning that the Holy Spirit will continue to lead, guide, and teach you, and uh, that we will always be alert and awake um, to his voice. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.